Hey guys, it's Dandy. This week has been crazy, to say the least. Um, I don't have anything pre-recorded, so we're going to set up my weeks for next week. Um, it's been a little bit since I've showed you guys my um, weeks. My weeks. What is this called? Cover. <laughs> I've got some Polaroids printed out. One of actual people, and then one of Megatron and Rodimus. <laughs> and then one of Murdoch in 2D in the stylo music video. <laughs> and then, of course, my washi tape. Um, I've got just, like, stickers and stuff tucked into these pockets. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out, because I'll need it. This is this week's. I'm falling a little behind. Today's Wednesday as I'm recording this, so I'll have the backlog yesterday and the day before. But, uh, that's okay. Um, so I have started setting things up a little differently recently. Um, and I guess I'll kind of... I don't have anything really planned to talk about for this, so I guess I'll just say what I'm doing and just kind of talk about things going on recently. So, first thing I'm going to do is... I don't... I don't like outlining the line that's already there. It just feels redundant. But if I don't, it's not going to match my other lines, and that would bother me even more. Does that make sense? So, this column that I'm making here is for my clown mood tracker, so I can keep up with how I'm feeling. Lately, I've been blowing through a lot of the sad faces, um, but hopefully soon that's going to change. Not always perfectly straight, and that's okay. I don't beat myself up about it. So this is where I memory keep daily, just a little blurb about what's going on during the day. Um, and this is where I write like events or if I have to work. There we go. As my book gets more full, it gets harder to um, keep the line straight because there's so much bulk behind it. Before I do the horizontal lines, I'm going to go ahead and fill out over here. At the top, I'm still just keeping my habits. And then I do, I write the habits on this side and then the days on this side because this is only six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. yes, because, um, and then the days don't fit here. So I do it on the right side of this like invisible line. Right now, I'm keeping up with what days I drink water, what days I avoid Coke, I guess Pepsi, but like in the South, Coke is like every soda ever. <laughs> um, I keep up with whether or not I wash my hair that day, keep up with if I did any art, keep up with what days I post to Instagram. I keep up with if I interacted with my special interest. And then I'm trying to get back into exercise. And I'm trying to also get back um, into my language learning. Um, I've fallen behind. I've been in a little bit of a rut lately. Um, I guess we don't need a bunch of details about that, but I haven't been doing super great um, mentally. And I fell behind on my exercising and my language learning. So I'm trying to get back on that again. This is where I keep my to-do list for the week. And then I've also started right here keeping track with what media I interacted with. Whether it's a video game or a TV show or a movie. I'm thinking about also just logging like YouTube as well under that. Just because that also counts. I mean, it should count. There's a couple times that I've logged specific channels I watch a lot of. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get these lines in. I've been trying to upload more because I like, I love being able to make videos on YouTube. It, it's just so fun for me. And it gives me something to focus on. 
Um, but some weeks it's just a little hard because things are so hectic in my personal life, I guess. Um, work has been super stressful lately. Um, but that's changing soon, whether or not I go back to being part-time or if I change jobs entirely. Um, that's still to be determined. Sorry if I'm getting my head in here. Everything is just so scary sometimes, you know? And, I mean, I guess I guess if you're autistic, you kind of understand what I mean when I say, like, it feels like everybody was giving some kind of handbook and it just, you know, I got skipped over and I'm, I don't know anything or how to do anything. <laughs> um, or if I'm making the right choice and that is really scary when it comes to anything. Um, so that's just, you know, some of the things I've been dealing with lately. Um, what else has been going on? Season three. Well, it was supposed to be part two of season two, but it's season three, technically, I guess, of Transformers Earth Spark came out. And it's really good. It's really good. I'm so happy because the first part of season two kind of flopped a little bit and it was really upsetting. But they came back. They came back so good um with part three or season three um i think there's supposed to be two movies after this um until 2026 at least and then they're gonna have another transformers thing who knows um, but we were scared it was like canceled for good but luckily it was not <laughs> um transformers earth spark has some of my favorite like characterizations of most of the characters um and megatron has a scottish accent which i love to death and I just like Earthspark because um, they kind of did something a little different in the sense of there's Transformers that were made on Earth. And so they're like, they're like learning how to be Transformers, I guess. And it's just really cute to me. And um, yeah, I just love it. It's so cute. And the animation is so good. Um, let's see. Next week of November. That's... Is that Thanksgiving? Hang on. I think that's Thanksgiving. So I'll do something thanksgiving E. am usually not a fan of Thanksgiving because um, I'm just not a food person in general. There's like certain foods that I love to death, but I really do, I'm not like a foodie or anything. Um, and I used to go to like extended family's house for Thanksgiving and it was like extended family that did not like me. And so it was always kind of like a miserable time and when everybody was like, yay, Thanksgiving. And I was like, oh, fuck Thanksgiving. <laughs> but um, recently it's just become, you know, me and my immediate family and a couple of friends here and there, which has made it a little more bearable. Um, even if I don't eat a lot of food, usually the food I eat on Thanksgiving is just um, ham. Thankfully, my family makes ham for Thanksgiving because I hate turkey. <laughs> Um, macaroni, mashed potatoes, sometimes green beans if I'm feeling adventurous. And that's what I eat on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Maybe a roll. Actually, wait, I lied. Dressing is, like, one of my favorite foods in existence. Um, and, you know, people usually only make it around Thanksgiving. So, <laughs> I get really happy because that's, like, one of my favorite foods that I get to eat. <laughs> well, I thought I had... I thought I had some different ones. Give me a second. I'm looking. These are mostly my sticky club stickers. So I've got some more, but I was hoping to use some more of my sticky club stickers. Ooh. There's some food in this one. I'll just make an amalgamation of sorts. Leaves. I usually have a couple of big ones. I think I also use these the same sheet. Oh no, that was two weeks ago. So it's okay if I use it again. It's fall. That's what it's for. Because I usually keep some bigger ones in here too. This one's really cute. Drop that there. Some bread. This little muffin treat thing. That's pretty cute. Stick that there. 
I've been trying not to go like super overboard with my decorating lately because I used to go like crazy overboard with my sticker decorating um and it would become a little overwhelming and I just didn't realize it until after the fact so um I'm trying to reel that in a little bit lately oh, I should have done this differently hang on that is also a problem that I have I just start sticking stuff down willy-nilly instead of planning and that becomes a problem Throw some bread in, maybe. <laughs> Watch me be wrong and this isn't even the week of Thanksgiving. It's okay, it'll still look cute. <laughs> Just because I didn't feel like checking. <laughs> that would be a, absolutely a me thing to do. See, I'm starting to go overboard. I don't know where to put things. Mm -mm. Nope. Put a little mm, pine cone? I'll put a little pine cone. Okay, I think that's good. I don't need to go overboard. <laughs> okay. The one thing I always put on a to-do list for the week, even if I don't know what else, is water my plants. Because sometimes I forget, and it's good to just have that there. <laughs> and then the last thing I'll do is highlight. I always highlight the dates over here. And I'm sorry, it is getting dark so fast. I love fall and winter, but I hate, I hate, I hate that it gets dark so quickly. Um, so bear with me while we lose the light. I hope you can still see this well. Highlight this, and highlight this. Sometimes if I am not in such a hurry as I was today, I will use my friend Bucky's technique of highlighting first, and then, um, and then writing. <laughs> because sometimes I just forget, and then it smears a little bit. And then I get mad and I'm like, see, Bucky taught me, Bucky taught me better. I should, I should know to highlight first. <laughs> and there we go. That's just how I'm setting it up lately. Um, for kind of like an example, after it gets filled in, um, this, this here, you know, things to do, media log, checking things off. Some weeks are better than others lately, but that's okay. Um, yeah. I can't wait to do a full flip through of this when the year gets closer to an end because I've had a lot of fun in my weeks this year. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Sorry, this is all it is this week. Um, hopefully I'll be feeling better soon and I can make better videos. But thanks for sticking around. Love you. Bye.